Now we gotta go with the old school Lemonhead original, but new flavor pack right here. Lemonhead Chewy Tropical Pop Open, that bad boy. Oh, yo, they got the exotic flavors, you see that? All right, they got the flavors right here on the back right here, you see it? All the flavors are Kiwi Strawberry, Peach Mango, Berry Banana, Cherry Watermelon, Pink Lemonade, see it? Woo! Ah! Let's try it with the mango. Cause you know I'm Jamaican, got to like the mango joints. Stereotype! The mango tastes good, it, it got that fake mango flavor though. Wait, 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 no. Yo, the flavor just changed up on me. Yo, this mango's banging. Okay. Now we're gonna get the green joint. This is the kiwi strawberry. All right. Yo! You know what? Something tastes good, man. I just swallowed it. I couldn't help to chew it. I just swallowed the whole thing. That kiwi, strawberry, banging. Cherry watermelon. Yo, that sounds crazy. Cherry watermelon? All right. Yo, it tastes like the cherry Italian ice. Now it's changing with the watermelon. Yo! Chewy lemonhead? Woo! This is the pink lemonade. Let's try the pink lemonade. Oh, man. Ah! Oh. I try to avoid it to stick to my tooth. Yo, if candy ever stick to your teeth, make sure you, 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 you brush your teeth and get that off because it hardens up and turns to a nasty sugar ball plaque on your teeth. And it just eat away on your teeth. You're not supposed to be eating candy like this anyways, but... Yo, if you brush your teeth like right after you eat candy, yeah, I I think you are right. But it's not going to help your high blood pressure and diabetes. It's not going to help that. A berry banana. Yo, off the rip. Bang, you can taste the berry in it, man. Oh, my God. Yo. This is definitely worth 25 cents right here. I am going back to the store and buy another three packs of these. If you see these in your local corner store, make sure you cop them and try it. Sea Snacks said it's official. None of the flavors were disappointing, man. Yo, Sea Snacks, I will give this a five. Straight up and down, all the way, you get a five from Sea Snacks, man. <laughs> this is your boy Sea Snacks, man. And that concludes another snack review on some candy, man. Peace to the whole team, Dame. Thank y'all for subscribing and watching. Peace. So I'm on my way to the Wendy's and a blizzard. This is dedication, people. Hey guys, healthy junk food back. Remember that's healthy, not that you confused with healthy. On Team Dame TV, and I'm at Wendy's, and I live in New York, and right now it's a blizzard outside, and. Um, I'm parking Wendy's and there's a snow plow nearby and it's really awkward and this person's looking at me But whatever so I got the new bacon portobello melt on a brioche bun. That's fresh never frozen, which is actually true I just found out all right. Well, I can't really complain with the presentation here. It looks really good Could have used a few extra mushrooms, but for four dollars can't really complain. All right one bite for the health of it Ooh. Yeah, I tell you guys go man All right, I'm gonna give you an honest review right now. This thing was awesome. Um, I don't really get the portabella. Kind of tastes like canned mushrooms, but I love mushrooms any way they want to serve them to me. Real simple, crispy bacon, awesome burgers. I'm never disappointed at Wendy's. Never disappointed with their burgers. Always on point. That brioche is to die for. This sandwich had everything going for it on every level. I'm gonna give it a straight four. Make sure you check out my channel to get tons of your favorite fast food recipes made at home. I'm out. Hi, this is Joey from Joey's World Tour and Team Dame. Today I'm doing Wendy's. And when you think of Wendy's, you always think of hamburgers. But Wendy's is also known for their chili. Wendy's chili, that's right. Um, they, uh, when I was a kid, they were known for their chili and everybody loves Wendy's chili. So we're gonna give that a shot today. Um, a quick little story. Um, in my hometown of uh, San Jose, California, um, there was this couple and they ordered chili. 
and uh, they went home and they came back and complained that they found a finger in their chili. Well, it turns out these two were just looking for some money from Wendy's Corporation, and who knows where the finger came from, but it was a real finger, but they were trying to scam the system, and it turned out, I think it was her boyfriend, like, found a finger, I don't know, he cut his finger and did it on purpose. Bunch of weirdos. Anyways, getting back to the food review, gang. I, I added uh, cheese on it with onions, and look at the, uh, the beans that are in this. It's beautiful. Um, it comes with, uh, let me turn this slide, maybe that helps. Um, onions and cheese. It was 314, gang, and that's all, and it's beautiful. And special, this is great for the winter time. And, uh, you, you know, uh, the only thing missing is cornbread. I love cornbread with chili. And um, so they gave me crackers, but what do you prefer? Cornbread, crackers, or both? Let me know, leave it in the comment section below. Anyways, we're gonna give this a shot. This is the Wendy's Chili um, 314, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot here. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I haven't had Wendy's chili in years. And this is so good. It's so like, talk about comfort food. It's so delish and the cheese and the onions and the beans and then the, it's just the right sweetness to this. Wow, this is great gang. On a scale one to five, Joey's gonna give this, um, you know, we're gonna give this a we're gonna give this a three and a half for what it is for a drive-through <laughs> chili. But anyways, you can always make some at home. But if you're at Wendy's, pull in and try out the chili. Uh, people forget about that. They usually focus on their burgers, not like on the baconator and the super baconator and the barnyard. But stop and stop and uh, try out the chili, gang. You won't be uh, you won't be sorry. Anyways. This is Joe from Joey's World Tour and Team Dame. Please subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. And as Luke Skywalker, would, <laughs> I'm sorry, Luke Skywalker would say, get to the chopper. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Peace. <sighs> Who are you? Two Facebook, Twitter, it's your boy Beer Drank Shorty here with another Who? Are you review? You don't need a clock to know what time it is. I'm beer. Nah. A lot of y'all probably asking, who is he? Who are you? Who is he? Well, I am Beer Drink Shawty, the newest addition to Team Dame, and today I'm gonna be reviewing what? A food review mashups, whatever you call it. A Wendy Sabia tool, she can't see. She can't see, look, I, I got Wendy, but I got her blindfolded. I got her blindfolded. I submitted requests, and I need those requests, Mr. Uh, Howard Davis Jr., before you get your daughter back. I got her blindfolded. Ah! Since this is a mashup, I'm gonna keep this thing short and sweet. Today, what I'm reviewing is a Wendy's. Today, I'm reviewing the Wendy's. Bacon portobello melt. I got the single. They got napkins. They have napkins. I like napkins. Why? Because look at my face. <laughs> straws too. Shout out to straws and napkins if you know what the persuasion is. What? What? Is it? it comes on a brioche. You can see the bacon coming out like it's like like like, like it's the hamburger licking its tongue out. That's how that bacon look. We got the American cheese. You got the uh, goofy square patties, how Wendy's does it. You know what I'm saying? Square patties, the new square patties, the new 40. <laughs> Open this thing up. Ew. Oh no, mushrooms. They didn't tell me that there was mushrooms on the bacon portobello mushroom melt burger. They didn't tell me that. I don't mess with mushrooms. No time for fungus. Mhm. Mm I'm not mad at the meat situation. Not being super well done. But do y'all notice a, like, a pinkish tint in the middle of that burger patty? It's not red. It's not even medium. I saw a medium round. Luckily, there's not a shit ton of mushrooms on this burger. If that was the situation, this burger wouldn't get murdered.
This got a big chocolate bite of bacon from that piece that you see hanging out like high school musical. And the bacon isn't crispy at all. Like bacon there. Look, this is how crispy the bacon is. Don't talk with your mouth, boo! Who are you? Joey's World Tour? Shout out Joey's World Tour. But look, look, this is how crispy this bacon is. Was this a piece of ham? <laughs> I'm going to give one more bite and I'm going to go ahead and get my evaluation on this amalgamation syncopation proclamation. Mm-mm. I cannot do it. The mushroom, mm-mm. Watch that fungus out of my mouth. Uh, what? On a scale from zero to five, a two and a half out of five. Not for the fact that I just like mushrooms. I knew there were mushrooms in there. But I just wanted to give it a try. On a scale of talk show hosts, with Oprah Winfrey being the best, I rate this burger Wendy Williams. There was nothing special to it. It was pretty much a bacon cheeseburger on a brioche bun, and they just put mushrooms on it. Not a mushroom sauce. And they call it a melt. I thought that it would be like a sauce situation that would give it an extra kick, an extra flavor, taste, an extra something to it. It was what it was. It was a bacon cheeseburger, cheese melted, with mushrooms on it. Two and a half beer drinks, shorty. This is Who Are You Review. Hashtag Team Dame TV. What? Get out of my house. Team Dame.